Hey, beautiful people who know God. I don't know a Jesus Christ. I only know an Emmanuel. All right? And those people who walk with God for real, they know Emmanuel. All right? And this is going to be the last video I make about Emmanuel because only the 144,000, my brothers and sisters, will be calling on Emmanuel. Everybody else will be calling on the idols of Babylon because they're infested with spirits. Now, Isaiah 7 and 14, Therefore, the Lord himself shall give you a sign. Behold, a virgin shall conceive, that virgin was Mary, and bear a son, that son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel. His name is Emmanuel, which means God with us. But I, that's how I know God is not with you people. But you're with Satan and the whore of Babylon. All right? Butter and honey shall he eat, that he may know to refuse the evil and choose the good. For before the child shall know to refuse the evil and choose the good, the land that thou arbor shall be forsaken of both her kings. You people don't know the Messiah at all. And he shall pass through Judah, he shall overflow and go over. He shall reach unto the neck, and the stretching out of his wings shall fill the breath of thy land, O Emmanuel. I know Emmanuel's land. There's books of Emmanuel's land. What do you know about God's son, Emmanuel? To him, Emmanuel, the word made flesh. There's all kinds of Psalms of Emmanuel, Emmanuel's land and other places. The spirit of wisdom, the spirit of knowledge, they're all in Mount Zion. The spirit of strength, the spirit of mercy, they're in Emmanuel's land. But you don't know Emmanuel, right? Because you're not in his army. The city of sin and it's captured by Emmanuel's army. Right? The army of Emmanuel storms the city. Um, let's read it a little bit. What do you know about Emmanuel? I know him personally. That's why I cannot call on JC. I can't call on him because I have I know the truth. I know the truth. And that name was given to you. Right? That's why you guys walk in rivalry and debates because you don't know him. Mr. Spite, um, Mr. Fair of a Laugh. There's there's personalities. Mr. Pride of Life is speaker. There is Mr. Morality, Mr. Lust of the Flesh. I don't I know a lot of you. Even Matthew tells you about Emmanuel. Behold, it's in the New Testament for people who only read the New Testament. Behold, a virgin shall be with child, and shall bring forth a son, and shall call his name Emmanuel which being interpreted, interpreted is God with us. Is God really with you people? Is God with you? God's been saying this to you. You should know his son's name. And Christ says, if another come in my name, you will receive him. But God tells you he's with you from the beginning, from Genesis to Revelation, God tells you he's with you. And Emmanuel, his son's name, God with us. Isaiah 41 and 10, fear not for I am with thee. What does Emmanuel mean? God with us. You don't have God with you. You don't have the Messiah, the real son of God. Be not dismayed for I am thy God. Now Deuteronomy, be strong and of good courage. Fear not, nor be afraid of them. For the Lord thy God is he that goes, that does go with thee. He will not fail thee, nor forsake thee. Now, Jeremiah 46 and 28, fear thou not, O Jacob. My servant, says the Lord, for I am with thee, for I will make a full end of all nations where I have driven thee, but I will not make a full end of thee, but correct thee in measure, and I will not leave thee, will thee unpunish. God is with you. Fear not, Isaiah 43 and 5, fear not, for I am with thee. I will bring thy seed from the east and gather thee from the west. God, is God really with you? Is God really with you now? If we go to how powerful Isaiah, his name is, it tells you in Isaiah 8 and 10. But let me put it into perspective for you. Um, associate yourselves, O you people, and you shall be broken in pieces. He's going to break you with the rod of iron. And give air all you far countries. Gird yourselves, and you shall be broken in pieces. That's why it says he's going to break them in pieces with the rod of iron. Who is this? This is talking about Emmanuel. And he shall pass through Judah 
and shall overflow and go over. He shall reach even to the neck, and the stretching out of his wings shall fill the breath of thy land, O Emmanuel. Associate yourself. This is talking about the Messiah, who you don't know. Associate yourselves, O people, O you people, and you shall be broken in pieces with his rod of iron. Give air, all you far countries. Grid yourselves, and you shall be broken in pieces. Grid yourselves, and you shall be broken in pieces. Take counsel together. His name. Use it. Because that's the only thing how you can defeat the nations. With using Emmanuel's name, not Jesus Christ. You've been saying Jesus Christ for so long and no change. And it shall come to naught. When you use his word, everything will come to naught. Anything you ask in Emmanuel's name. Speak the word, his name, and it shall not stand. For God is with us. What does Emmanuel's name mean? God with us. So when you speak that name, everything the enemy does will come to naught. When you speak that word, it shall not stand, for God is with us. But is God with you? Emmanuel means God with us. The son, God gave his son to us for redemption and remission of our sins. But is God with you? For the Lord spake thus to me with a strong hand and instructed me that I should not walk in the way of this people, saying, Say ye not a confederacy to all of them whom this people shall say a confederacy, neither fear Ye there fair, nor be afraid. We're not going to walk in your names of your gods. We're not going to walk in the names of your idols. The 144,000, we are not. Because God spoke to us and told us and instructed us, we should not walk in the way of you people. Because God is with us. And when we say Emmanuel's name, everything that the enemy and you Jesus Christ people say come to naught. Are you lying devils of Satan? The whore of Babylon. You do not know God. You do not know the Messiah. And his name is not any of those names with the Y. Go back in your Bible. I am with thee. God says, I am that I am. I am with thee. Emmanuel. What do they all have in common? I. I am with thee. Emmanuel means what? God with us. But is God really walking with you? Is God really talking to you? Because God is the God of truth. So you can't come to God with a lie. 